We have seen vandalism of different signboards being taken down. We have seen towers of our transmission lines coming down as a result of vandalism. But we have also seen clear cases of sabotage, as was the case in Naivasha, where people have intentionally unbolted some of our transmission lines and masts to create chaos and havoc. It is clear, and the law is clear, these are acts of nothing less than economic sabotage, which falls as a treasonable act, and the law is very clear with individuals who commit treasonable acts and plunge the country into chaos for their own selfish needs. And as such, do your duty and to execute your function as the law dictates. And as of today, we will no longer allow, and we have put a moratorium on the export or buying and selling of any scrap material until we have put in place proper guidelines that will ensure that that material is not coming from the hard won investments that the Kenyan people have made. We will not allow you to destroy that which is for the growth and development of our country to benefit a few individuals' pockets. Hiyo hatu taruhusu. Na mimi ni mesema watu wachuguliwe hatua kulingana na ile hatia wamefanya. That is economic sabotage. You are sabotaging your country's economy. And I believe the law is very clear as to how such people need to be dealt with.